Assalamu alaikum guys. Welcome to my new series of Gup Shup while having chai. Because I was thinking of, now that I have so much time on my hand, I was thinking of doing a video of things I wish I knew before I came to US as a Pakistani student. And I really wanted to search for these videos when I was preparing for my journey like almost four and a half years ago, five years ago, whatever. So yeah, and I have chai. What a perfect day. It's raining outside. And I'm gonna try to speak in Urdu as well. Maybe, because I have so much time on my hand, maybe, maybe I will add subtitles. No promises. Because I still don't know how to add them without having to manually write them in and put so much effort in. And bro, I'm too lazy for that shit, okay? So don't expect too much. But I'll try my best to figure it out. But anyways, um, if you are somebody coming to US, or if you're just generally interested in what an international student should know before coming to US, please get you a cup of tea, cup of coffee, whatever you like drinking, and let's chat. First, I don't really remember that much. Uh, I'm going to try my best to like see what I wish I knew before as a freshman or whatever, because honestly, every year, like my experience was very different. Like her sal koi na koi aisi fazool cheez ho rahi thi in the game that was like new experience, new lesson. Just give me okay, like I have to learn this, I have to do this on my own. So it's like I know life is a process. Ke har baar apko koi nayi cheez experience karne ko milti hai. That's how you grow and whatever. I understand that, but it's hard doing it. Jab ap akele kisi aur mulk mein aaye hote hain, where like your family doesn't even know ke. Either system and you have to figure out everything on your own, it is really hard. So I would say be prepared, have a strong mindset. I wish international students could get more recognitions. Okay. We come to another country at almost like around 18 or maybe some even younger. And we have to figure our entire lives then because I hear people being like, oh, call like college to graduate okay, or up and figure out Hum kya karenge and I was like, wow, like I was doing that when I was 16. But anyways, I would say, like, first step would be, it is okay to not know that you are college and what you are doing. Because I feel like humare, at least Pakistan has a mentality. Hai. I've talked about this earlier as well. If you are a lawyer, a like, doctor, an engineer, hai, there's just like these set rules that you have to know what you want to do because your family has told you and all that so I would say that if you are the US it is not necessary that you know what you want to do in your life because like I said when I was in the US I was thinking that I will join the government and I will take the CS exam all that and right now looking at the government situation no shame we're not going to talk political stuff about it over here but knowing that I know I don't want to be working in a place like that so I'm like, okay, I want to find what else I'm passionate about, what else I want to do and really like figure out my life from there. So coming, coming to US, I was like, oh my God, like I'm going to be spending so much money. I'm going to be spending so much time. I'm like literally leaving my entire like life over here. I need to know what I'm doing if I'm taking such a big step. And at that time, I was just like, I think that just overwhelmed me and I just, went along with it for four years and four years later i'm just like i want to do something new life is too short for you to just follow one path like if you know what you're doing good for you like go for it like i'm never gonna be like oh like don't do it stuff like that if you know what you want to be go for it but honestly at 18 like that's the age average age that pakistanis are starting college or university you do not need to have your whole life figured out trust me take one step at a time and go with it. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to when I first came to US cause I had a really, really bad experience. Four years ago, I think there was a Muslim ban as well. So that also played a lot in it. Um, and I don't know how it could be but I just wanna say it because it was an experience. And I hope that you don't have to do but I wish I knew all of these things before. So, when I traveled to Pakistan, someone was with me, someone was with me, like, navigate kar raha tha ke kya karna hai airports pe kya karna hai waise kya karna hai all that right but jab main us aa rahi thi main akeli aa rahi thi and this was the first time meri family mein se koi bhi us aa raha tha so nobody really knew ke 
एयरपोर्ट्स पे क्या होगा कस्टम्स क्या होगा ऑल दैट स्टफ राइट एंड आई वॉज रियली स्केयर आई वॉज रियली टायर्ड इमेजन थर्टी आवर्स की फ्लाइट एंड देन यू आर रीचिंग टू यू एस फाइनली एंड आई आई हैव नेवर टॉक्ट अबाउट माई एक्सपीरियंस वन आई फर्स्ट केम और डेर आई आई डो मे बी आई टॉक्ट अबाउट इट द लास्ट वीडियो बट एयरपोर्ट का एक्सपीरियंस आई लैंड इन सैन फ्रांसिस्को एयरपोर्ट एंड इफ यू नो दैट एयरपोर्ट इट इज एक्चुअली रियली वेरी ह्यूज um and it's really hard to navigate through that airport especially if you're coming to the US for the first time and i came to trump power me tha so as soon as i saw my passport pehle to 2 ghante hum log line mein khade the custom clear hone ke liye and not hum me sorry 2 ghante the line mein khade hue the meri bari aayi and they saw the green passport and they're like you know all those stereotypes and they put me in this like one really scary room white room whatever to do second screening ke just for security purposes ke mai koi galat insaan to nahi hu yeah um, i don't want to say the word on this channel but anyways whatever ke ke green passport to all that and that took like about like 4 5 hours or maybe connecting flight was in like i think 2 3 hours like as soon as i landed so i missed that flight um obviously they didn't find anything wrong with me so they let me go after such a long time but i had missed my flight and mera ticket uh, my family members ne kiya tha so i didn't even know ke ticket kaise karna hai kya karna hai us waqt navigate kya karna hai so mere paas cash thi so mere paas card bhi nahi tha i should have had a card i wish i had a card at that time um but anyways i had these two bags jo ke mujhe claim karne the jo mujhe ek ghante tak pata bhi nahi ke like bags uthaau ya na uthaau kyunki apparently jab aap कस्टम्स से गो थ्रू करते हैं यू हैव टू क्लेम योर बैगेज एंड आई डेंट नो दैट तो आई वॉज जस्ट लाइक एंड माई बैग्स आर ओवर वेट वो गो ऑन दैट एडवाइज लेटर बट एनी वेज माई बैग्स आर ओवर वेट एंड आई वॉज जस्ट लाइक वर एम आई गेट डू और मैं लिटरली रोने पर आई हुई थी लाइक लिटरली मैं बैठी हुई रो रही एंड मैं अपने पेरेंट्स को फोन कर रही एंड आई थिंक उस वक्त रात के पाँच बज रहे थे उधर भी एंड आई वॉज जस्ट लाइक आई कैन डू दिस एनी मोर मेरी फ्लाइट मिस हो गई आई रो कि मैं कहाँ जाऊँ मेरी अगली फ्लाइट क्या होगी ऑल दैट एंड देन आई थिंक आफ्टर दैट लॉन्ग ऑफ अ फ्लाइट एंड लाइक दैट ट्रोमेटिक एक्सपीरियंस यू जस्ट डोंट नो वट यू कैन डू लाइक आई लिटरली खुर इन थिंक कि मैं हेल्प डेस्क पे जा जाऊँ बट एनी वेज आई वेंट देयर एंड दे गेव मी अ रियली नाइस होट हेल्प वाउचर एंड दे गेव मी अ फूड वाउचर सो आई स्पेंड माई डेज देयर नेक्स्ट डे टर्न आवर आई हैव टू चेक इन माई बैगेज अगेन and i was not prepared for that because they were like oh like that flight ended now you're on a new flight so you need to claim the baggage again and you you should know like first of all overweight baggage or even if you just have extra bag more than carry on you need to pay a shit ton of money and they were like oh we cannot accept cash we only need to take a card it was it was a nightmare but good thing my roommate's mom figured it out at that time and like the next day after like 24 hours of being like stuck in that airport i finally got out and here i am 4 years later but that was a traumatic experience i went to that airport again every time i go there i have ptsd but i also met a lot of nice people who helped me like carry my bag around the airport cuz like my gate was like literally all the way on the other side anyways so if you're coming please make sure that you know all of this in your head um if you're not carrying a card which i don't know in this life i would do not but if you're not just know that you might need it be wary of the customs um unfortunately we live in a world like that and yeah just be prepared tight and dirty they forgot but anyways third thing i wish i knew would be k I think before I was coming, मैं ये बहुत American vlogs देख रही थी um, Going shopping with your roommate, going this with your roommate, figuring out the theme of the room, blah blah blah, you know, like American fantasy. Let me tell you one thing: हर किसी का experience ऐसा नहीं होगा क्योंकि not that कि मेरी roommate एक बुरी इंसान थी but we just didn't have a good experience living together. Um, and that kind of created a very depressive episode for me because. I'm somebody who used to stay inside her room all the time and imagine like you are not getting along with the person who's in your room. It's mentally torturing. So, 
I would say this one thing, don't have this expectation that you have to get along with your roommate. Just put yourself first, put your mental health first. And like, honestly, just survive. I don't know if I was the only one who had this, but just saying it. Um, another thing I would say is like, I am a, I was a very introverted person or a very shy person in the start. Like, unless you talk to me, I barely ever talk to you because I was just like really shy and in initiating conversations. And with, we just had a program that it was nice because we already knew the international students before all the people on campus came, um, the peer orientation program. So if you're coming to with, get excited for that. Uh, other than that, like, yeah, I talked to a lot of them. Those are the friends that I made and they're, most of them are still here four years later. So I'm telling you, you're going to make good friends out of that. But, um, I would say, I would give an advice, like really reach out to all other people as well. Reach out to people, just try to make friends because these people are going to be your home away from home, especially as an international student. Um, it's going to be hard to go home on holidays, especially like spring break, fall break, or like Christmas break, or like just those breaks, like where everybody from US is gone. Um, your friends are gonna be there for you unless you're really deciding to leave US for just a week or two as well. Honestly, if you're like somebody who doesn't want to, like if you feel like being alone is better for you, like I would say have boundaries, but still like try to reach out um, because you never know you're really far away from home. You never know how people can help you or how maybe you can help them. Um, just think like that. I'm trying to think what else. Well, this video is already long, but honestly, we're just chatting, right? It's a very common advice that every senior gives, but yes, go to your professor's office hours i barely ever went to my professor's office hours unless i was in a dire need i was in a dire need of assistance from them i barely ever went there um but that is also like covid came and whatnot but i barely ever went there and i wish i had gone just because like you need them at the end especially when you're networking especially when you're trying to find jobs stuff like that so I would say like really make use of it or even if like you have professors that are doing something or have done something that you're really interested in but they're not from your major from not not from the classes you've taken go chat with them everybody's probably going to be really nice at least like my with word experience i don't know about other colleges um so yeah one most important thing that i wish i had really really done is i knew like by sophomore year that i really didn't want to go into law um it's just it wasn't for me i love arguing i love talking but it just wasn't for me uh to be doing it as a career or for the rest of my life and i knew it but honestly i was in sophomore year and i was like you know what i've already been here maybe it's just like covid because covid started in sophomore year and i was just like maybe covid can we just say you know like it all is like all of this is starting um or maybe like I'm just demotivated for this semester and I just really waited till junior year when, at least in my opinion, it was too late to change my major. Um, and I really did want to change my major, not gonna lie. So I would say it's never too late to do it if you really want to. Um, I really wish I had done it, at least in sophomore year or junior year. If I had to really take an extra semester to finish it, I would still not be struggling with what I am doing right now. But honestly, it's working out because um, I realized that I didn't want to do that. And I started finding courses online to really build up the skills that are needed for what I want to do right now. I don't know if I ever talked about what I want to do right now, but yeah, I started building the skills that I need right now. And I think I'm doing good. I've just gotten rejection so far, but I think I have the skills that are needed and it's worked out for me, but I do wish that at that time I hadn't gotten scared or I haven't like really thought like, oh my God, I cannot really do it at this hour because I'm about to graduate in a year and like, it's just not gonna be a good thing to like change the majors right now. I did add a lot of minors, which I'm glad I did because it really broadens up my job market, I guess. So I'm glad I did that. Most important advice is 
please take care of your mental health. Do not entertain people who you know are toxic and also really reflect if you're the toxic one in other people's lives. And if we're like talking about it doesn't help, like sometimes it's better to just let go of things instead of like sticking on to them. Uh, as like an international student, this is one thing that I feel like um, I wish I hadn't done was also like to really tightly hold on to the friends that I had back home because like like I said I was a very introverted person it was hard for me to make friends even though like a lot of people did talk to me and I talked to them but it was just like I need to really be comfortable with you so I already had friends from back home and I was just like time zones were different but I was like staying up all night to talk to them just so that I could like you know have that like not feel lonely or like talk to my parents just be like up to date in life back home up to date in life up to date did I don't know the English for that but stay up to date in my friend's life in my friend group's life because a lot of them hadn't started college at that time or like a lot of them were like in the same city and I wasn't and it was just like making me feel like very FOMO because I was like oh I'm not there and like I'm here alone all that and it was just like creating a lot of tensions and expectations that I wish like I could have saved myself from because uh, it's hard for me to put myself first and I would be putting other people first and like really not prioritizing my health so I would say like once you're coming here like really have a balance in your life in US and in your life back home because it does take a toll on your mental health and I just wish I was more aware of it um, so yeah and I wish I knew how to navigate these things at that time that was a very major one and I think that really helped me be more open to friendships over here and I honestly am so glad that I did it better late than never uh yeah I don't know what else I think the video is already long enough so yeah um these are some of the things that I wish I knew I don't know if I think about some I will share it later but till now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And if you guys are studying in US or if there is something that you guys wish other people would know and you guys have experienced that or even if you're not in US and you just go to some college that you wish you knew for somebody who's just joining college, please comment down below. Um, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll... I'm thinking of uploading another video later for what to bring because like I mentioned, I had overweight luggage when I came to US. Kid you not, I barely used anything from it other than like very few sentimental pieces because, you know, I really did not need to carry all of that, pay so much money for that extra luggage uh, just for it to just be sitting there. It's a waste of money, it's a waste of energy for you. So I'm gonna create a video on like what things you can buy, especially for Pakistani students if you guys are coming to US. So stay tuned for that. And even if you're not a Pakistani student, maybe you can just get an idea of what you can get here, uh, what you might wanna bring from back home, uh, things like that. So yeah, thank you so much for coming and I hope your chai tasted as good as mine because I love it. And yeah, have a nice day and take care of yourselves, guys, because it's a really rough world we're living in. And yeah, bye. Love you.